manufacturer of 3D printers with 8 letters that gives its printer strange names and description for 500. Hmm, Creality. Creality has released the next printer in its Ender 3 V3 series. The Ender 3 V3 KE from now on in this video only called KE, because otherwise I get a knot in my tongue. Why is this topic so difficult for Creality? <laughs> Hello and guten Tag, my name is Jan and today we are looking at the KE. The printer was provided to me for the review by Geekbuying, but as always they and Creality have no influence on my opinion. But I assume you are not here for irrelevant blah blah, so let's get started. What specs does the KE offer? We have a classic bad pusher based on Clipper, adapted as with the K1 and K1 Max. Here you can root the device and use mainsail or fluid too. Nice that Creality offers this right from the start. The maximum speed of a printer is 500 mm per second. Realistic for reasonable print quality should be about 300 mm per second. This speed can be achieved with a maximum acceleration of 8000 mm per square second. The print volume of 22 by 22 by 24 cm on a PC spring steel sheet is nothing special, but absolutely ok. You can print from SD card, USB stick and with Wi-Fi, e.g. with the Creality Slicer or the web mask of a printer. The improved sprite extruder with direct drive moves on linear rails in the x-axis to avoid vibrations which are then additionally reduced by input shaping. A separate sensor for this can be purchased separately, which in my opinion could have been included. The hot end, which is also used in the K1 and K1 Max, can heat up pretty fast to 300 degrees Celsius. Leveling is exclusively automatic, manual bed leveling is not provided. The y-axis is also driven by two synchronized rods. What I do like about this printer. The Creality Slicer with its profiles is now pretty good and sufficient for most purposes. And you can also control multiple printers easy at the same time, so nothing stands in the way of your print farm with it. Installation and setup are very simple and should not be a problem even for beginners. Its hot end is also used in the K1 and K1 Max, but here directly in the new improved version and it heats up really quickly. The Sprite Extruder, also installed in the Ender 3 S1 S1 Pro, has also proved that it's pretty good and reliable. Replacing the nozzle is much easier than for example with the K1 K1 Max. And out of the box the printer delivers really good quality on the print bed at really good speeds. Replacing filament is really easy, just like it was with the Ender 3 S1. The price performance ratio is great, you really get a fair package for its price. Routing the machine is possible right from the start. So if you want to use fluid or mainzel, you can set it up. What about the printer's bed? Honestly, we're at a good level here. It just works and does what I expect it to do. Don't really have much to complain about. The printer comes with clipper and has many of its advantages, but it's limited like the K1 out of the box. It would be a bit nice if root access was simply already active or could be activated by ticking a box. Also, the sensor for input shaping has to be purchased separately. I think it could have been just been included. Although the Creality Slicer is based on Cura, it doesn't have all of its features. E.g. it's not possible to change the filament at a certain layer. But you have to be honest, Creality has made a lot of progress with the Slicer with its last updates. So let's see what else is coming. And I really do not like the smartphone app at all. It's not as useful as it could be and as briefly as seen with the K1, it's totally overloaded with advertising. So what's my conclusion? The Ender 3 V3 SE was already absolutely fine, but the KE extends the platform with my beloved Clipper. I have very little to complain about this printer. Of course an enclosure would be very practical for ABS or ASA, but that's just not possible at this price point. Who can I recommend the printer to? Absolutely for beginners or people with some experience who want good printing at a reasonable speed without incurring huge costs and without having to tinker with the equipment. We do not get any innovations here with the KE, but current technology is combined really well here with a fairly priced printer. So now I have bubbled enough. I hope I did help. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments and if you want to spend some money, despite or because of my review, you will find affiliate links in the video description. Doesn't cost you more, but helps me a lot. Otherwise I would be happy about a like or subscription. That's it for me. I'm out of here now. Sincerely, Jan.